Yeah, hi everyone, and welcome back to another, to another Rise Adventures YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm in a different park. Um, I have been here before, as you can tell by the title, Drayton Manor Theme Park, um, located in Tamworth, just outside Birmingham. Uh, so the last time I was here was when I was 12. Uh, it has been, like I said, 17 years. Um, so I'm a part of the Roller Coaster Club today. But that's coming up into a separate video. Uh, so I thought, you know what? Um, as part of the Coast Club, we went to, on Troublesome Tucks. Um, so I thought, you know what? From in the Thomas Land area, I might as well just um, start here in Thomas Land. Um, see behind me, you got Sodo, uh, the flying planes. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my Alton Towers Scarefest vlog update uh, on what's to come this year's Scarefest and also this year's Journey to Hell at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So, if you haven't already, make sure you check them vlogs out here on the channel. Um, so, I'm here with Gary and Ray and Chris. So, come and join us here at Drayton Manor Resort for Gary, Rains and Chris's first time here at the park. We've got uh, Jeremy's Flying Academy got the fire academy as well got a restaurant as well so the airport one intense ride toby tram express yeah nice fa um, family area this one that really stands out is the statue which i'll go show you in in a bit so yeah it's cold um, it is cold today, so we've already been warm, so yeah. Yeah, so we've got um, the Sir Topham hat uh, water feature as well. Obviously the, uh, the area opened in 2015. What the hell is Gary playing? This this? Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? This could mind be Man and Gary's um, area, you know. What are you thinking to the area so far, Gary, for your first time? Look at what time. Like what actually? You like oh it? God. What about you, Chris? Yeah. First time in the Thomas Land area aye. so far? Uh, aye. We've it's... got the rest of the park to explore yet, haven't we? So. I mean, obviously, I remember watching this stuff when I was oh, very, yes. very Yes. Come and download if you remember the original to Mr. Tank Engine oh, and friends. Know this, know this stuff. No, no, not all this new stuff you get. CGI and all that garbage. No. We're talking proper. Proper stuff. Models on oh. the track, man. Hornby, there you go. You know what, Chris? I what still got. I, true story, I've actually got this in my flat. I still got the original to Mr. Tank Engine's train set. Oh, wow. Cool. So, yeah. No, so, so can you remember who it was that narrated the, the original? Brit. What? Brit. Brit company. No, no. Who, who the... <laughs> who the narrator was? Who, oh. who told the story? I can't remember. Ryan. Give me! No, wait. There's, there's, a, there's a picture we've got. Frank will start. And Chris to hey? uh, reenact. What? So, Ryan. Reenact that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think today was so far, Ryan? I like it. We've got the rest of the Patrick's boy, yeah, haven't we? So it's a lot more, it's a lot quieter than I kind of expected it to be. Yeah. Because obviously when you go to like Alton Towers and you go to like CBB's Land and yeah, stuff like that, it's, it's hectic. absolutely mobbed. You can mm. wait like an hour for the Octonauts yeah. ride, but here it's like straight on. Oh, straight on. I mean, are you talking about how easy that is to get this one as well? No. Like. Normally, when you go to a marine park or you go to where else have we been? Blackpool. Blackpool. Yeah. There's so many hoops to go through. Yeah. Here, they make it really difficult for you... people that have hidden disabilities to get yeah. there. As long as you've got your Nimbus card you're and you've got it on the day and you show it, you've got that, that pass. You've got that pass. And, and it's like you get in and it's almost, you can hear it and it's like, yeah. Yeah. No great questions asked. It's just look at the Nimbus card. Give you a wristband and then three people added onto it. Yeah, that's it. Simple. No head, no hesitation. Yep. Not at all. It's fantastic. Oh yeah. Accessibility bars. It's, it's, not, it's not a hilly at all. This park. It's not, no. Oh my not, god. It's completely flat. I love that. 
Yeah. What's that? Oh, the yeah, fact it's that's flat. one level. Yeah. Um, so, back, obviously, a few years ago, it did t get took over by the, the Looping Group. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, uh, some things got, some areas and rides got rethemed. So, be checking out here on the vlog as well. So, you have to stay tuned. I don't know what these two are doing. I really don't. All, all I can say is get out of the room. <laughs> so, yeah. So, stay tuned. Um, from when we go and explore more of the park here at Dwight Manor Resort. Yeah, one thing I'd like to mention is the ride restrictions for Thomas Land attractions. Obviously, we're going around most of the park uh, doing this. So, obviously, you can see that. Uh, the rides and attractions in this area which is completely fantastic to be honest by the management also got a height board as well of how old i hope they never move that logo because that is a really good logo that a proper logo not like these new logos you see on the flipping tv now and i think they've kind of killed uh, Thomas on TV to be honest. They kill most uh, programs in my opinion, so yeah. There you go. Here's, here's, a hype, here's a hype board. Yeah, obviously it's no smoking area. So yeah, that is the hype restriction board. Oh, it's the uh, photo booth as well. But on, on, my, uh, on my photos. Today is an extremely fun day here in Thomas Land. All the engines are working very hard with happy smiles on their faces. Even Cranky seems to be in a jovial mood. But as always, there are two station swingers who love spending their days in Thomas Land. And here they come now! Hello everybody! Hiya guys! Come on everyone, join us! Sunflower? 
Here comes Thomas now, pouring it into Sido. His eyes actually move as well, so I'll get a bit closer looking at. Yeah, so just come around the other side. Is, uh, how cool is this? This is what I have missed about Jake Manor. Seeing Thomas, his eyes move left and right, left and right. <laughs> that is so cool. Can actually ride him as well. Let's say a Thomas Rosie, Rosie and Percy engine tours. Let's see, goes on a little turntable as well. Here in Thomas Land. So there's some shows on as well. So you've just seen the Thomas Land Balcony show. We've got had one of, oh, did change. So we'll come back to that. So you've got the fire show at one, three, and five down in Vikings. Yeah, the board's actually wrong, to be honest. So I don't know why it's all saying closed. So I see, here's an advertising board, which that bit I don't really want. There you go, Rory's Viking Show, 11.30, 11 11 3.30 and 4.30, every two, uh, couple of hours. So there you go, Thomas Land, 11, 12, 2 and 4, and then it, that board just repeats itself. Yeah. There we go, just captured it just in time. Thomas on the turntable, engine number one. That is awesome. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so you've just seen the show from um, that from the top of the balcony. I really enjoyed that. One thing I don't really like was the actual main song. The two, the two there for the six to eight. No, they've killed it. Bring back the original. I prefer the original. I'm not happy with that. But the rest of the show is fully awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's one thing I didn't really like. Just when it actually changed it into that. So, what do you think of the show then, Gabby? Huh? What do you think of the show? All right. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's alright, mate. Obviously, didn't love it as much as you did. Oh, I absolutely love that. And this show, I'm in. I was like, as soon as you announced it, yeah, there's a show in one minute. Oh, hello. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> so I thought, yeah. Oh, there we go. Also, can I just point out to any of Ryan's watchers and viewers? If you would like to see Ryan dancing to that show, go over to my channel, The Iconic Geek. He's on there. <laughs> no, to be fair, I'm not going to lie, but I was actually dancing to that. Oh, no. So make sure you check over on in her Instagram and TikTok, The, the Iconic Geek. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to uh, be exploring the rest of the park now. Um, See what else there is here. Um, yeah, it's too cold for Storm Force 10, which is rather fancy getting a load of lake water all over me. So I think we'll be heading over to a 4D, they've got a 4D cinema here, which is Looney Tunes. Um, so you've got the bounty behind me, the pirate ship. Oh, so I feel there's another. 
So there's another show in 10 minutes, which is Rory. Um, so, stay tuned on what's to come next here in the vlog. Yeah, so this is the, the plug uh, by looking at the map. Uh, we're going down over to the gift shop uh, and then we're going to be doing the wave. So, we, as usual in every vlog I do, there's going to be a merch tour. Um, so, if you are coming to Drayton Manor, you know what prices to be expecting. And also, we're having uh, ERS for a roller coaster club today. Oh, wait. oh no! I can't get take over! Wow. Wow. <laughs> do your boobs hang low? Do you swing them to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your boobies hang low? Ryan's day. <laughs> Ryan stole my camera yesterday and decided he was going to run away with it. So. I've grabbed his and I'm running away with it and he's not getting it back I might even do this or this <laughs> Payback's a bitch innit Ryan? Oh, no, hell no. Ryan's a dick. If Ryan's a dick, clap your hands. If Ryan's adventure's a dick, clap your hands. If he's a dick and you know it, and you really want to show it, clap your hands. Coaster cluck cluck. Where? There? Co coaster buck buck. <laughs> <laughs> with DJ Stormy and DJ Sandy. <laughs> Does anybody else want to do a takeover? Yeah, I'll do a takeover. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Adventures on takeover. Lovely job, boy. <laughs> I just moved my ass at the camera. Oh, lovely. And I also said, if you're, if Ryan's adventure is an asshole, clap your hands. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just walk along with this, this camera for a bit, eh? Let's just waste some footage on it. It actually gives me the chance to see what it's like to use it, because I'm getting one. In fact, shall I really annoy him? So I look at him and just purposely just put this camera right down. So then it's just facing me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I said? Do you know what I said? Go on. Do your boobs hang me to this one too Fat. Shall I show him how to do a proper camera angle instead of just shoving it in someone's face? Man. <laughs> That's how you do a camera angle. I mean, you've got the wave over there. You've got Storm Force over there. You've got the arcade there. Should we go and make his camera wet? Say hello to Chris. Hello. Oh wait, hold on. There you go, Chris. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just wasting footage at this point. No. The rapids. Why don't we take it on the rapids and not an out? <laughs> we'll just pop it in. <laughs> Yeah, so as I was saying, before Rain completely took the camera off me and snatched it, one, I do apologise for any wetness on the lens, because uh, uh, Gary has just decided, as you just saw, put it in the flipping water. And obviously it is waterproof. Um, so, and then, as I also go in a gift shop as well, and um, give you a merch, so, if you find a gift shop, a uh, merch tour, and then obviously an ERS 
tonight on um, the wave. Well, see, that's going to be in a different video uh, on our RCCGB. Um, so that'll be coming up. Uh, so we're going to do it in this vlog. So we've just got to be running uh, completely round on that. So, yeah. There goes rain. Yeah, so uh, I thought I'd come and show you the new uh, the new sand pit. Well, oh, call it sand pit with all the uh, first opportunity as well. The wave. Obviously, they got a bit of shock and just decided to um, turn it into a because it was basically the story of this ride was it's coming to its end of its life and the party didn't know what to do because uh, it was a stand up. Uh, comment down below if you remember the restraints being an L shape. So obviously it was the only one in the world to have a stand up. Uh, so everyone else retired theirs. So, and then obviously um, <coughs> it and the party decided to so at the time it was a 1.4 metre height restriction. Um, and now they've gone and obviously knocked it down to a 1.2 and turn it into a sit down so if you head over to the wave update for Jayton Manor everything will be described on there one thing I do like is the built is the building the station uh, on top of that oh here it comes perfect timing yeah I love the um, theme around there now Oh, so you've got uh, Zampola Air Race. Uh, then behind that is uh, what well, was G Force. Uh, I didn't go on it, but obviously I heard it was hot, it was awful. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll obviously get more fire shots on the wave for you as well. I don't make our way into Vikings. Obviously, we didn't actually realise what time it was. Obviously, there is another, like I said, vlog coming up. Um, obviously, it is an ERS on Shockwave. So, stay tuned for that one when it comes on the channel. Go rush again. Yeah, so we'll head over to Thor. Of course, we've got the uh, Sam Perla Nebula. 
you prefer, these are popping up all over the place. Started off in America, and they make your way over, um, over the channel. Be a weird system, though. Yeah, Thor's just a basic tampo of disco. <clears throat> there goes the coaster. <clears throat> yeah, it's not a massive area, but it does fit in quite well. So we are heading inside Rory's Souvenirs. So, there we go then, Visor, Visor Adventures exclusive. Comment down below if you love these um, merch, feet, uh, merch tours. Got a hoodie here saying Viking, just printed on. £52.90. Nothing on the back because it's hooded. I, that's, I like that, but it's, I prefer embossed stuff. That's priced at, 17, at £17. Pounds. Mugs as well. Vikings hat. These are cute. I like these. Very, well, it's very summery then. Obviously, it's a flower travel cup mug and also cups as well. Stationery. Well, that's weird. Seeing a security dog on a ruler. Never seen that before. Oh, I see your plush. 19.99. Oh, I see your pink hoodie as well. That's priced at 39.90. Get yourself a drink, man. A teddy bear for 30 quid. Nineteen fifty. And if you love Thomas, why don't you get yourself a little carousel car for seventeen ninety nine? So that's printed on. Looking on back. There you go. Here's what it looks like on the back. Summer Fun Fest. That is priced at $19.95. Yeah, obviously, the part goes back in all the way back to $19.50. There you go, if you've got an IPX8 phone, why don't you get yourself a coach for it? Only £2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, so discount holders get. If you have an uh, annual pass holder, you do get your discount. Pins are quite good. I oh, see, all pins are uh, priced the same pricing £6 each or two for £10. It. That's the logo I read. Comment down below if you missed that old retro logo. Oh, see, G Force. This is when I came, when Apocalypse was here, and also G Force and Pandemonium. That's when I remember it. Obviously, Pandemonium used to be locate, used to be on site with Apocalypse, where Gold Rush is. Gold Rush sits now. I'll say kid stuff. Ooh. I want you to get yourself, if you love Christmas, which I don't, uh, get yourself some Christmas stuff. Halloween as well. Just around the corner. That's the bubble ones. Safe price in there. I'll see water bottles as well. Confetti cup, £15.90. <clears throat> yeah, I do like the logo, but I prefer the old one, to be honest. 
think it's more nostalgia. Yeah, it's kind of a mixed shot this really. These are these annoy the hell out of me. Bloody ones and stuff. Break them in seconds if you're not careful with them. <clears throat> Here we go. If you've seen if you watch the channel for long enough, you know I'm a massive fan of penguins. He's cute. A kill Xmas. Press it twenty pound. Yeah. But like I said it is a mixed shop. Get your magnets as well. Yeah, I've got a zoo, but it's not really like great to be honest. There's hardly anything in there anymore. Hot Wheels. Sicker set. That's meant. That's meant to be done. There you go. Barbie. Yeah, that is pretty much it from the shop. From Rory's souvenirs. Yeah, so it has come to an end of the vlog here. I'm from Dirty Manor Theme Park. Uh, obviously, it has been a good day. Uh, the bin has again picked up. Uh, dark clouds coming over, as you can tell. Oh, wow, that is really windy. Um, so, obviously, bloody hell. Um, like I said, it has been a good day. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, got the characters out now, so I'm not going to put that in. Obviously, this is the wrap-up, so if you haven't already, make sure you check out me previous vlogs here on the channel, and also make sure you subscribe to it as well. Um, like I said earlier, me and Raina are having a competition by the end of the year, so who has many subscribers by the end of it. Um, so it's going to be a yearly competition now. Uh, the Oh, so we are heading over to um, the, the, the way for our, our RCCGB takeover. So again, stay tuned for that vlog coming here on the channel. And obviously comment down below what vlog you'd like to see next. Um, and see if we can get it planned in. So, um, so yeah, I'm Ryan. Thank you for watching Rise Adventures here on the YouTube channel from Jake and Manor. And there's one thing, one thing for me left to say. Get out there and keep on vlogging. See you on the next video. Bye, guys.